This week saw the release of the final chapter in the Season 11 storyline for Apex Legends, but many in the community were left confused by the seemingly inconclusive finale, as well as the incoherent actions taken by Ash throughout the course of this season. However, I believe I know what she might be up to, and it spells certain doom for the lovebirds Watson and Crypto. Ooh, what's up you guys? I'm not amazing, I'm just mediocre, and we're here today to talk about Trouble in Paradise, this season 11 storyline, and what we might be leading into for season 12. Let's get right into it. If you remember, at the end of season 10, we got a series of comics that showed Horizon desperately trying to find any clues to the whereabouts of her son, Newton because there is seemingly no record of his existence after the explosion at the Phase Runner years ago which created the rift that now exists on Olympus today. She eventually came to believe that Ash might be a simulacrum of her old friend Lillian Peck, the founder of Olympus. She was able to receive a set of codes from Crypto that will allow her to unlock Ash's dormant personality, but upon delivering those codes to Ash, was devastated to find out that it was not in fact her friend Lillian Pack, but one of her worst enemies, Dr. Reed, who the same scientist that had actually left her stranded out by the black hole and separated her from her son in the first place. Season 11 storyline picks up immediately after that event, after Ash's awakening, where she realizes that she was not in fact a human pilot bound by the limits of human physiology, but in fact a robotic simulacrum, and believe that she was now should be able to achieve her maximum amount of power and lethality. Ash informs Horizon that the good doctor had no idea the consequences of the actions that she had just done by awakening this dormant personality and left her in shambles to go off and find these pieces of her past that she wanted to reclaim. These pieces of the Dr. Reed that she used to be. She traveled to Olympus hoping to find some clues there, but was informed by Pathfinder and Gibraltar after the explosion, there was practically nothing left to recover. But that Watson might be able to have some clues because she has been scrounging through IMC databases herself in order to find some other unyet, uh, as of yet undisclosed information. She seeks out and eventually finds Watson and Crypto together on Storm Point. And it seems that Watson and Crypto are working together to create some sort of communications device. I believe they're working together to try and locate Crypto's long lost foster sister, who we learned was still alive, even though he was accused of her murder. We found that out back in season five. Ash shows up in a very threatening manner, holding her sword to Crypto's throat. And Watson immediately jumps to his defense, raising her weapons, trying to tell her to let Crypto go. And in this moment, Ash sees that there are feelings between these two. That there is a relationship, a strong, powerful relationship going on between Crypto and Watson. And says, I'm not here to kill anybody. Yet. But she asks Watson, hey, I've heard that you've been looking through these IMC databases. I need you to tell me where I can find the information I am looking for. And I will let Crypto go. And Watson happily obliges, telling her that she'll be able to hack into databases and it depends on the particular facility that she's getting into. After receiving the tip from Watson, Ash discovers a facility that might hold the clues that she's looking for and ventures there. Inside, she finds a storage unit that contains the remnants and belongings of all the scientists that were stationed on Olympus at the time of the Phase Runner explosion. And the one box that she's looking for in particular, the container that holds the belongings of Dr. Amelie Paquette, the same woman who murdered her and also the grandmother of Watson, Natalie Paquette. Inside, she draws the sword that was used to stab her through the middle, and as she describes it, end her feeble mortal life and begin her perfect life as a robot, as a simulacrum, and believes that this is a piece of her past that is holding her back. It represents her weakness, the 
inability of Dr. Reed to defend herself and protect herself from the people who would do her, uh, do her harm. However, Ash was followed to this facility by Horizon, who is still desperately trying to find the answers that she's looking for, and seeing no other way, wants to get them from Ash. However, Ash quickly corners her and bests her in combat, and is about to lay a killing blow upon Horizon, when the dormant personality of Dr. Reed breaks through to the surface. It appears that Ash and Dr. Reed are two separate minds contained within this same body. And Dr. Reed was trying to break through and gain control of the body and deliver a message to Horizon. She feels like Ash has nefarious plans and wants to stop them, but also has the information about what happened to Newton after the events of the explosion at the Phase Runner. However, Ash quickly regains control over her consciousness and attempts to deliver a killing blow to Horizon. However, Dr. Reed is able to still exert some control over the physical form and literally stops the arm from being able to complete the slash that would end Horizon's life. Frustrated, Ash simply shatters the blade, being satisfied and hoping that's going to be enough to destroy the weakness that's left inside of her, and once again leaves Horizon devastated and alone and searching for the answers to what happened to her son. In the second to last chapter of this story, we see Watson high up on Storm Point at the Lightning Rod, doing something to it and apparently making some progress on this uh, adventure, this technological feat that she's trying to accomplish with Crypto and hopes to be able to, to deliver some good news to him about what she's been able to do. However, she is interrupted by Ash, who, after learning that Watson is actually the granddaughter of the same woman who murdered her, decides that she needs to do something about it. Ash states specifically that she does not want to just see the end of the line of the name Paquette, but very specifically wants to expose what she describes as the rot within the legacy of that namesake. So she's not actually out to kill Watson, she's out to destroy her emotionally and destroy the good name of the Paquette family that's existed for generations. She sends Watson basically off a cliff into the tropical waters of Storm Point. And immediately after sending her and separating her from the situation, goes to find Crypto and lures Crypto into her circle, into her good graces by telling him that she's going to be able to give him the information he needs to find his long lost sister. And this is where we get to the actual confusion. Many people thought that Ash was going to just straight up attempt to kill Watson, but that's not what she's after. She's attempting to drive a wedge between Watson and Crypto because she's completely aware of the emotional connection that these two have together. And she wants to destroy that. She wants to emotionally wreck and destroy Watson and ruin her life. And I'm willing to bet that she's also going to use Crypto in order to find incriminating information about Watson that she can then use to ruin the entire Paquette family name. Because this is what she believes is, once again, the weakness that's holding her back. The Dr. Reed that she used to be was bested by a simple scientist who she should have been able to easily defeat in combat. However, this split personality that exists inside of her is constantly battling back and forth. And Ash believes that the only way that she can finally be rid of the Dr. Reed personality that still exists inside of her is by destroying the name of the Paquettes. So I believe that's what we're going to be getting in season 12, at least in some form. Ash luring Crypto into some dark, nefarious actions that will end up 
causing Crypto to betray Watson, Watson being emotionally devastated, or she's going to try to find some particular piece of information that she can use to smear the Paquette name into the dirt. I admit that I was initially confused and disappointed by the events of the story of this season. It seemed to drag on forever with one chapter being released every two weeks. But after we had all the chapters released and I was able to read it back to back to back, I was finally able to understand the big picture of Ash's nefarious plans. Either way, I'm very excited to see where the lore is going to go in Season 12, because it appears we're seeing a return to form after a complete lack of lore in Season 10 of Apex. We've got the nice storyline this season, we're getting some completely unrelated comics being released on Twitter where Bangalore and Wraith are finding even more clues to the location of her brother Jackson, and I will definitely be making a video once that comic series concludes. So if you want to see that, and if you want to stay up to date on everything Apex Legends backstory, make sure you subscribe right here to the channel. In the meantime, I'm not amazing, I'm just Meteor Yogurt, and I'm out.